George, I can't have sex. <laughs> With me or in general? I went to the doctor today. I have mono. Nucleosis. Oh, I hope that's not a problem for you. No. Oh. <laughs> so how long is this not going to be a problem for me? Well, so what? You've got six weeks before. I can do six weeks standing on my head. I'm like a sexual camel. It's not the point. At least there was the possibility. Well, so you're going to break up with her? I don't know. I don't want to be one of those guys. What guys? Like us. Yeah. Mono. It was fantastic, Jerry. We wound up talking all night. So you're enjoying the not enjoying? You know, just by conversing, you can really learn a lot about a person. I'm finding that out. Just lately, I've been thinking a lot clearer. You're no longer preoccupied with sex, so your mind is able to focus. This is your brain, OK? <laughs> now, from what I know about you, your brain consists of two parts. The intellect, represented here, <laughs> and the part obsessed with sex. <laughs> now, granted, you have extracted an astonishing amount from this little scrap. <laughs> but with no sex Louise, this previously useless lump is now functioning for the first time in its existence. George. Of course. Absolute zero. What? What is with all these books? I stopped having sex. Guys, kidding? It's not about muscle. It's simple physics. Calculate the velocity v in relation to the trajectory t in which g gravity, of course. Remains a constant. How am I going to fill two hours? Hello? I could take an hour off your hands. Give the kids the chance to see a real live Yankee. And give you a chance to see some real disappointed kids. <laughs> yes, I take your order, please. Excuse me, darling. Do I, uh, do I detect a Portuguese accent? Sim. Uh, das uh, cafés uh, uma encelada grande. Uh, <laughs> Muito obrigada, senhor. Uh, no, don't mention it. Portuguese? Yeah, my cleaning lady is Portuguese. <laughs> I must have picked it up. So the hospital called. Turns out some stupid intern screwed up my test. I never had mono. So now we can, uh, you know. I told her I would have to think about it. But ultimately, you're going to choose in favor of sex, right? I don't know. Perhaps I can better serve the world this way. You mean not subjecting women to your sexual advances? A simple joke from a simple man. So you're never going to have sex again? Well, Jerry, there was a pretty good chance I was never going to have sex again anyway. <laughs> you know, Louise, I think you'll find this amusing. In early Euclidean geometry, they George, are... I have to have sex. I used to share that very same outlook. But now I have so many things to occupy my mind. For instance, the atom. Goodbye, George. <laughs> my cafe. Ah, sim. Go, go, go. Take me to your leader. <laughs> oh, my God. You had sex. You had sex with Louise. No. With the Portuguese waitress. <laughs> the Portuguese waitress? calculated my odds of ever getting together with a Portuguese waitress. Mathematically, I had to do it, Jerry. George, George, you're on. Oh, I, I, I'm not going on. Then what'd you come down here for? Tell you about the Portuguese waitress. <laughs> it's good to have you back. <laughs> <laughs>